Morning, I swear a lot. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the mech locker. So, we had to skip a submission and now we can come back to it for it has a name and we can work with that. But before we begin, two minor updates. Um, I'm not sure how much EN has changed in any real way since the last time I showed you guys, but I've been using EN more. I think I replaced the, um, the pulse cannon with the plasma cannon which provides a lot of additional damage. And overall, it's just a little more durable, and it flies a little better, and it's got some new decals and some new stickers on it, and that's very nice. But my main focus recently has been on an entirely new design, because I love the warnings, you know, the different variants. I love wa warning being my mech. I think that's very fun. But I wanted to go for something... For A, I wanted to branch out on terms of colors, right? Because I'm just using blue and pink a lot of the time, and I wanted to try out some different stuff. And also... I want to try out some kind of different styles and maybe play around a bit. And I honestly really like the original um, pieces that you get for a mech, the CC uh, set, as it were, what you start with. So I made another mech, my own mech, my comfort mech, my fun mech, my mech for flying around and having a good time and just playing the video game. And it's called Ronin. And this is Ronin. Bear in mind, this has no relation to Samurai in any way, shape, or form. It's just a name I like. But yeah, this is Ronin. This is my mech Ronin. <laughs> I love this thing. This thing is fantastic. Um, so to take you through it, it's equipped with, and this is a bit much, but this is a experimental coral rifle, which is like a plasma rifle, but more crazy. So. It didn't initially have that, but I have attached it recently because it's nuts. It has a laser dagger, which might actually be the most powerful thing about it. And those strange-ass looking solar panels on its back are not solar panels. Those are missile tubes. The WS-5001 Soup Missile Launcher, which is absurd. That thing shoots so many fucking missiles, especially when you have two of them. And then as for the appearance, like I said, I really liked the, uh, the original... Uh, mech pieces that you get at the start of the game, and I would have had this mech be entirely made of them, but um, technical difficulties meant that couldn't be a thing, so I had to swap it out for some Basho, but I think it worked out quite well. And then the um, the boosters are, uh, yeah, they're pretty fucking advanced, designed more for quick boost thrusting, and the FCS is balanced, if I remember correctly. Yep, that's the balanced one. And then we've got a big fuck off Arcubus generator to keep everything going. And I coated it in stickers and stuff and decals, and I'm very pleased with it. I like it a lot. This is my happy fun mech. If I was an anime protagonist, this would be my mech. This would probably be it, actually. Not ru running the channel colors, but just some scruffy, weird-looking mech that actually fights way harder than you think it would. Like, I recently complained about a mission where I had to fight three ACs at once, and that took me a really long time and a lot of tries in the warning HA. Uh, variant with Ronin. I did that in two tries. Two tries. That's it. First try, I was like, oh, wow. No, that didn't go too bad, but I think this will still take me a while. And then on the second try, I destroyed two of the ACs. Well, I destroyed the first AC without even, without reinforcements even arriving. The second AC I wiped out before it could use a single repair kit. And then the third one was on his own and was easy pickings. Like, it was shocking how well it worked. The laser dagger is shockingly good for a melee weapon. You can capitalize so easy with it and it recharges instantly. You can do so much with it. The missiles are great for staggering virtually anyone because it shoots so many, as long as you can land them. And plasma guns are just generally quite powerful. So yeah, I love this thing. I love this thing very much. I'm very fond of this thing. I know it looks stupid, but I kind of embrace that as well. It doesn't look so stupid that it's clearly a joke, but I don't think it takes itself too seriously as well. It's a very scruffy protagonist's mech, which I like. I like that vibe a lot, but enough about me, enough about my exploits, enough about my mechs, it's time to fulfill another commission, and ladies and gentlemen, have we got a very vague commission, which means there's stuff we can work with, but let me let me give you the details. So, today's client is the Natter Frost, 
and they request a compact mobi mobile artillery platform of some kind. By that I mean lots of long range projectiles such as missiles, even if it limits mobility to some degree. Unsure if it's only humanoid mechs or how much you have control over you have, how you make the things in the game, but if you can blast some to Kingdom Come, why not utilize that? They want it to be called Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus. A type of cloud that can lead to hail and lightning, also the type of cloud called Thunderheads if in a thunderstorm. Which is a pretty cool name. It does... It's a bit of a mouthful, but I dig it. It's a cool and interesting name. As for other stuff, try to make it look a bit cloudy, if that makes sense. So the idea of low mobility, long distance artillery is more important than the cloud motif. So, Thunderstorm, basically. The motif here is Thunderstorm, Thundercloud. <sighs> I don't really know how I'm going to do that. But I suppose we should start with the weapons. That might be an easy place to start because they want a long range artillery platform. Now they've mentioned missiles, but not just specifically missiles. Okay, so I think potentially cannons might be the way to go with this one. Some nice solid cannons, but we need long range cannons. They can't be short range little bitch cannons. Now the earshot has an effective range of 720. What measurement that is, I have no idea. But point is, it might be the longest range not missile weapon we have. The light wave cannon is pretty long range, but I do not like the light wave cannon, I've got to be honest. It's cool, I just don't like it. Yeah, see, missile launchers are definitely longer range. I mean, it's annoying because this might look quite similar to Ronin, but I really think the scatter missile launchers might be the way to go. Because that is the most bang for your buck in terms of range and missile quantity. So that does make sense to- whoops. That does make- whoops. That does make sense to me to have that immediately. Now as for the hand weapons, I want to be a little bit careful about this because it's all well and good to specialize a mech and lean into a certain design. But you do want contingencies for close quarters combat. You kinda do. At least something. Now, I'm not sure if a melee weapon really suits this thing, so I don't think I want to give it a melee weapon. I think we should stick with guns. But the question is, what kinds of guns? Now, we can get handheld missile launchers. If I can find it, if I can find it, there's one around here somewhere, I know it for a fucking fact. Yes, there are handheld missile launchers. But I don't think having an entirely missile-based arsenal would be the way to go, personally. Having said that, are we really trying to make the best mech possible, or are we trying to make something fun? Right? That might be the key point here. Maybe don't worry so much about... ...what's good, and focus on what fits the specifications. An honest-to-god walking-talking missile platform might be the way to go. This thing has an effective range of 2,500. I don't know what. Could be 2,500 anything. But the point is, this thing can engage from extreme distances, which seems to be what the client was asking for. So they want it to look like a cloud. Hmm, I mean, maybe, but that's not very compact. That's compact, so that makes the mech very compact. I reckon go Fortaleza. Thing is, if they want it to be a, if they want it to be cloud esque, then it needs to have rounded edges, right? It can't. Um, because my initial thought would be to go for like Basho to really just contain inward the next design, as it were. But it'd be a very square design rather than a curved one. And I think we can make it a little more curved. Maybe go with a bit of that, and then... We want something a little rounder and a little smoother. That could do it. Oh, I kind of like that, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. And this will actually give the mech some serious durability, like... We're already at 12,650 AP, which is more durable than Ronin, um, and boost speed of 315, which is substantial given the amount of heavy weapons we're bringing to bear. We just need a head <clears throat> that really rounds this off. 
I'm a big fan of Basho Head, I have to say, but uh, I don't think it works quite so well. Though it is fun, must be said, it is very fun. You go jailbreak if you wanted it lighter, I guess. So I think if we're going for a long range mech, then a long range scan distance might actually be the way to go, right? Because it'll allow it to pick up on targets from further away. So, whoops, that head might actually be the way to go. As funny as it looks, Plus, it's a head we've never used before, so it lends the mech a little bit more uh, individuality. I'm going to stick with it. For better or worse, I shall. So, we don't have to worry about boosters, because that comes with the thrusters in the tank legs themselves. So, all we need to do is sort out the fire control, which is, of course, going to want to be specced for long range. And it goes without saying. Yep, so VE21B. Very good. And now we need a big fuck off generator to actually make this thing go. That's too heavy. It's looking like the only one it can be is that- oh hello, there was one there. It could be the Hakushi. That would keep weights down. We'll try that. Let's give it a little test and see how it moves, right? Like, the speed is not really too much of the client's concern. They wanted compact and long-range missiles. But it'd be interesting to see how this thing moves. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it's deployed. It looks fucking nuts. And it's pretty fucking nippy. Like, these, these tank boosters are incredible. These tank treads are amazing. You can go so fucking fast with them. Oh, it's fun. Oh, these are fun to play with. Yes, drift it. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can play with this. Because this also means that despite the mech's long-range focus, with this kind of speed, we always have options. We're not stuck if the enemy gets too close. We have means by which to uh, defend ourselves, as it were. So, uh, I don't want to buy shit. I've already bought practically everything. So, the motif, the color scheme, is clouds. Cloudy, thunderstorms. Thunder, lightning, thunderstorms, Nimbus. So, hmm. It's going to be kind of tricky, actually, but I guess the base is going to be white, is it not? Or at least some form of... Or you want, like, a grayish color. And see how that would work with perhaps a darker shade? We don't want it to go towards black. Black is too dark. There we go. I think that's about right. Let's save this color. I think the main colors are going to have to be combinations of neutral colors, right? This might need to be a little bit darker now, actually. There we go. So combinations of neutral colors not too far off from each other. That can remain black. These are just components, they can remain as they are, although I'll probably just make them black. Yeah, that works. The way I'm going to try and work this into actually looking something like a thunderstorm mechanic is probably going- or style- is probably going to be through decals, because trying to actually work it into the coloration of the mech itself, I think will look very silly. I think it would look exceptionally silly, so... We'll just work with it like this. That, however, can be yellow, because that works quite well and is quite nice. Give it weathering too. I think that looks pretty decent. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, all units, I mean, this is probably going to follow a similar color scheme, to be honest with you. May as well. Honestly, they kind of look fine the way they are. Not much work to be done here. Though it's annoying that there are multiple lights on these missile launchers. There's orange lights and then there's yellow lights and that- Oh, that bothers me. Ah, it bothers me. Why would you not just turn those the same color as the device lighting? Why are you like this? Whatever, fine. Doesn't bother me. It's cool. It's cool. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't fucking bother me. Why would it bother me? That's because it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. That's the thing is that it doesn't. So I guess most of the appearance work here is going to be done via, uh, via decals, but I've got to be honest, I think the end visual result is going to look a little underwhelming.
Then again, it will be distinctive in its own way. You won't see much out there that looks like this thing. So the question really is what do we have in terms of like a lightning decal? I assume it has something along those lines. I haven't actually gone through here. But lightning seems, you know, generic enough that they'd have something. But as I look through here, I'm not really seeing lightning. I don't think there's any lightning. Ooh, that makes my job a lot more difficult. I really should have checked. Should have checked. I gotta be honest, I didn't realize they wanted a cloudy motif until I started this video. Like, I didn't- I missed that message and then just read it, uh, as I started. Uh, mmm, I really thought there'd be, like, lightning bolts or something here, you know? Like, that seemed like a thing that would- would be had. Alright, well, I've got an idea then. I looked online and it doesn't seem like anyone else has really thought to make lightning bolt decals either. Why does this not exist? It seems so fucking obvious. How is this not a thing? How has no one done this? Oh man, I do not want to try and make my own. That would take fucking ages. And that's not really the problem, ladies and gentlemen, is that it would take fucking ages. The problem is that it would take fucking ages and probably not look very good. That's my biggest issue here. Like, I'd have to really fucking finagle it and it'd be like, well, here it is, and it's fairly lackluster, but it's the best I could do. Alright, well, let's see what I can f throw together at the very least, hey? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the difference, is that here there is a bunch of stuff. Surely it's like a light of some kind? Come on! It's like right there! Well, we'll start by making an incredibly basic one, just so that we fucking have it. And see what else we can work with. Alright, well that one thing is literally like the only lightning-themed thing they have. I guess I can make a typhoon cloud. That will help. Oh, this is not gonna turn out the way I want it to, is it? Clouds. We'll get some clouds in there. Alright, well, let me see what I can do. So, legs, for instance. This is usually a big place where you can make a lot of stuff happen. Maybe lean more into Nimbus and less into Storm. Right? Like, I don't know. And perhaps... Just seeing how it looks, because I just truly don't know for now. Like, I don't know what... <sighs> no, I can't think of a situation of a reality where I'm gonna make this look really good because I just don't really think the game has the, the the materials as it were for me to make this really good although that could look pretty decent That doesn't look bad. If we can mirror that on both sides, it'd be nice if there wasn't a quick mirroring option, but hey. Can you let me move it with the mouse, please? Or do I have to... Oh, God, no. Okay, alright. Well, this is gonna get painful. Never mind, fuck it, whatever. Yes, 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 yes. Just get rid of the fucking thing and I'll figure it out. Okay, just fucking... You know what? It's just not going to work. I'm going to have to do this manually. There's no other way. There's no There's no two ways about it. I'm just going to have to do it manually. I just will. Mm. 
No, oh God, now I need to remember how it looks on that side. Okay, so like, yeah, the top half kind of is along that ridge and then the bottom thick half is below that. Okay, all right, okay, so get it like there and then invert it, good, and then, and then, and then, I don't know. How does that look in regards to how that side looks? Close. Close enough, actually, I'd say. Let's just have a quick look around again. Close enough. I would add genuinely close enough. I'm not trying to be lazy, but goddamn, trying to get that to be exactly the same is going to be impossible. So that there, and it needs to be inverted to make sure it's following the same guidelines. And then if you see me keep doing that, it's actually because I have to raise my chair in order to be on camera. And the result is that it raises my keyboard, like, you know, I can't really see my keyboard underneath my desk now, so I have to keep leaning back to fucking see what I'm doing, and it's a huge mess. This is an easier one. Okay, it's like right in the center there, and a little bit over the top. Uh, yes, a little bit. Doesn't seem right, but let's have a look. There we go, because on the other side, the edge of the first one doesn't really touch. I think I've got it. Near enough. Close enough, I say, because fuck me. <laughs> Ooh. I will make this work. I will. I will make this work. I don't fucking care. I'll try. I'll fucking try. I'll do my fucking best and I'll make something out of it. I will. Okay, I, I just will. Now, where the fuck was this place on the other side? Actually, pretty fucking close. Close enough, I say. Alright, well, we've got lightning de uh, lightning and clouds along the side, going with the Nimbus. With the Nimbus, with the Nimbus. The Nimbus has been achieved. <sighs> Somewhat. I want this to have a more... Unlike, you know, previous designs, especially like the, the titties, for instance, where the stickers were a lot of small ones in a lot of different places, I want this to be more bigger designs to really actually encompass a lot of the uh, the mech's actual color design and stuff, you know? Because this is the theme we're trying to run with, is that the clouds, we want that that style, that image as were, that thing going across the entire thing. I have a stupid idea. I have a stupid idea. I have a dumb stupid idea. I have a dumb stupid idea for morons, right? Yeah? I have a dumb stupid idea. We get that to- Oh yeah, go on, yeah! Just a little bit! Get it going down there. Yeah! <laughs> it looks silly, but it's fun silly. Yeah, that's my kind of silly. That's my kind of silly. Yes, let's make this work. Ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have that go along like that, but the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do actually is to move this layer down. There we go. So that the lightning can be seen. And then just kind of uh, replicate that on this side, which shouldn't be too difficult, right? 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 Yeah, probably. Watch this. Watch me put all this work in, and then this thing just doesn't fucking perform in combat, and I'll get upset because like I put the work in to make it look good, and then it refuses to perform. But as per my, you know, personal classification for mechs in this game when I'm making them, and really how this game just works in general. If this mech doesn't perform in combat, it really mostly comes down to my inability to pilot it properly. So, don't be too discouraged if you see this thing perhaps not pull off the same flashy shit as uh, other designs have. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some upper limits to some certain designs, and at the end of the day, some designs simply cannot do things that other designs can, right? I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it too much and be like, everyone's a winner. It's like, no, sometimes your mech is just not particularly well designed. But you can get a lot done in this game with your mech if you're good enough. 
That is just the truth of it. You can make a lot of things work. So let's quickly come out of here for a moment and just see how that looks. I think that looks all right, personally. Okay, all right, okay. There's a little bit more we can do. Where do these actually... Ah, these pertain... I'll tell you what, I'll do this for fun. Get the FPS watermarks on this thing because it's my mech, I built it. <laughs> you want to play with my mech, you have to carry my watermark. That really betrays the fact that they're... That's not even, but whatever. Uh, it's fine. I don't even care, except to do. I guess with a cloud design, though, it doesn't need to look quite so symmetrical, because the idea of clouds is that they're all over the fucking place, you know? They're not... They're not repeating patterns, they're not symmetrical. So, really, it does kind of work, still, in of itself. I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's just do that again on the other side. I will never be able to replicate this in my life. Good or bad, for better or worse, it would never happen. So invert it, so it's... Yeah, no, that will work. And then, uh, wrong way. So it almost kind of becomes a, like, white-gray, uh, camouflage. So we'll leave this now and have a look. Okay, cool. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. We'll work on the core next. Because we're going to need a lot here. There's gonna, a lot needs to be done. I have noticed that we haven't used anything with the whirlwind design because I'm just not really sure what to do with that thing. So the plan is also to try and not make each use of the cloud look like, um, just to look like another stock image, if you know what I mean. I don't want it to look like the same image has been plastered all over the mech. I want it to just look like a bunch of clouds. And to this nut, and to this end, we're gonna have to play with it a little bit. Now with the lightning bolts, I feel like that's going to be kind of impossible because the lightning bolts just look like the lightning bolts and there's not a lot to be done about it. So instead of worrying about that too much, we just have to make sure to use them in cool and interesting ways. And how does that look? Maybe with another one? I think this is gonna- I, I genuinely feel this will turn out a little silly, but that might be the fun of it. That might actually be the joy of this one, is that it will look a little silly. It might even look a little juvenile. But, it- I think it'll still be kind of fun, in its own way. I don't know, I'm doing my best. So if we save and exit now and have a quick look at it. Sure, 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 sure. My plan for this one is going to be incredibly simple. Just fucking <laughs> diagonalize it and go for it. Perfect. I did that entirely by accident, but that's perfect. That is everything I wanted. 
they even exit? I'll tell you what, maybe even. Just have a quick look. Nah. Nah. Give it a nice little tag, very good. So the arms, the arms, the arms are going to be a thing here. That's the joint that connects to the mech, okay. I'm kind of hoping I can bullshit this in the way that I already have, really, like. It's like, I would describe my attempts at customizing this right thing right now to be the equivalent of throwing buckets of paint at an easel, right? Like. Happy accidents. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And that might just be a happy accident. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, see, that works out quite well. What I've realized now, and this is something I want to keep in mind for the future, actually, because that's really interesting. I might be able to use these clouds in conjunction with the more glossy metallic um, paint type on the mech to actually achieve something of an airbrush effect. Which is great if I was doing a Gumpla, but this is an actual mech, not a Gumpla. But still, that's a cool effect to be able to do. So... That could be something. I don't think it'll be the coolest thing I've ever made, but I think it's going to turn out maybe a little bit better than we were expecting. Including the client. Because I don't think the client was expecting much when they gave me that specific... Um, descriptive for how they wanted their mech to look. As it stands, we might be able to surprise them a little bit. Or they'll look at it and go, ugh. <laughs> ugh. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. It's looking alright. It's looking alright. Now I want... I do want a lightning along here. I do. On a nice diagonal. That's that. That's that. That's actually ah. That's actually pretty cool though. Good. Reckon one more, but I'll have to angle it carefully. Okay. So we might be able to make this to actually make it look like uh, 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 lightning bolts. Thin streaks of lightning, perhaps. But it can't be like a, a standard cross, uh, like diagonal X cross, because I think that'd be a bit too... That's too cliche. You look at that and you go, that's not a fucking... That's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I was gonna say, if you saw like the traditional cross, you'd be like, that's a bit cliche, I suppose. Maybe, maybe, maybe one more. But if this doesn't look as good as, uh, if this doesn't look incredible, then I'll just fucking get rid of it because it was fine the way it was. Then maybe do that, and then and then and then and then and then and then get and then and then and then and then and I've turned into a beatboxing machine, and then and then and then and then. Oh, oh. I'm going to make a change to the overall design of the mech. I'm gonna get rid of the head, because I can't take it fucking seriously. <laughs> it's that head! I can't! I can't do it! I picked it because I wanted to utilize the head for something, but no. Honestly, Alba fits pretty fucking well. Let's go with that. It makes it look a lot cooler. I really do kind of want to change the torso, but if I do that, it will remove all of the decals. So I'm not doing that. We still need to see how this thing actually looks on the battlefield. This might pop really well out there. So, if we look at the mech as a whole... I know it's like internals, 
this stuff down here, but I do think it could do with a cloud. Even if it's a small one. Will it even show? I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Yeah, it works. It's fine. The problem is, of course, you see your mech most of the time from the back because it's third person and, you know, you see the mech from behind when you play. So that's what you see the most of whilst playing the game. You always see your mech from the back, so you have to make sure the back looks decent. I wonder, how can, how can I, can I make this work, potentially? Because you see, it ceases to be a cloud by that point, and instead it just becomes a cloud texture. Which is good, actually, that's what we want, we don't want it to look so obviously like what it initially was. And that's the purpose of all of this manipulation of, of the object, is to try and make it look like what it isn't. But something similar, because, you know, we still want it cloudy. God, my dog Cloud must be freaking out with the amount of times I've technically said his name in this video. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, I can't put decals on the weapons, so that's moot. But I don't think it looks too bad overall. It looks really cool there, actually. Oh, it looks really cool in that lighting. All right, right, well, let's do a quick um, uh, uh, AC test, yes. And just see how it looks in a very standard setting as it moves around and stuff and what we're gonna see as we're piloting it around. Okay. I mean, it looks all right from here. I don't know, I actually think it's gone from looking kind of goofy to kind of intimidating. Like, we've kind of accidentally... To begin with, it looked like we were making a joke mech, and now it actually looks like some real business. I don't know. There's only one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen, and that's to put it in the arena. We have to go fight something. We do. It's an important part of the testing process. If I don't fight things, and people are like, what the fuck, man? And I have to agree. So last time, we went up against King with titties. Let's give this a try. Now, I'm not expecting this to perform in this particular context as well as titties did. Arena combat aptitude evaluation program. But theoretically, Only the best missiles remain. are really good against other ACs. But this is going to be a very different fighting style. This will be about as different as it gets. We're going to want to keep distance. Commencing evaluation. Yes, indeed. Combat mode. So theoretically, shouldn't you already be in range? I mean, I used melee. I did use some melee because I'm crazy. Got him. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. So, for AC on AC combat, we do suffer from some problems. And that is kind of damage output. Oh, that works. That works. That works, apparently. Yeah, that works quite well. Okay. So, for AC and AC combat, we kind of need to use... Nimbus is a battering ram, okay? This is the only way to make it work. It has to be something of a battering ram. Yes! What a finish! Oh! Oh, Nimbus. Yeah, you see, that looks pretty fucking good there, right? Look at that. Yeah? It's actually turned out alright. That's really surprising. I thought this was gonna look awful. And I didn't think it would take Asta Crown either, but here we are. It actually did. Fuck, I need to save this thing. Fuck, I need to save this thing. I need to save it. I need to save it. I'll make a note to the client now. Um, but of course, this is entirely up to you. It's your mech, and I'll respect your wishes on this. But I would say... 
You wanted it to be called Cumula Nimbus? I think a better name would just be Nimbus. I think Nimbus rolls off the tongue way better. Like, I know you want to capture, like, the storm element, like a thunderstorm. And I've tried to capture that with the decals and stuff and the color scheme and all that. But, um... I think Nimbus would be a better name, personally. But it is your mech. Entirely your mech. And it is made to your specifications. If you prefer this name... I nearly spelt it wrong. If you prefer this name... That is absolutely fine. It will be the name of the mech. I'm not gonna fight you on the name of the mech. That is a dick thing to do. It is your mech. We have made it. Let's see how far we can push this. <laughs> Let's see how far we can push this. We'll just take on Freud. Yeah. Let's see how far we can push this. Final Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. This will be the last This will evaluation. not be the last evaluation. I promise you. Commencing evaluation. Okay. I'm curious to see how this will work out. Oh my god, he's quite quick. He's quite quick. But we're also quite quick, is what he doesn't realize. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this thing is a fucking death machine. Holy crap. He's struggling. He's struggling. He's struggling! Too many missiles! He just can't take it! He never could! He never could! Go for the kill! Go for the finish! Oh, I didn't even need to get to him! This is a bit absurd, actually. I think we've accidentally broken the game. <laughs> very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Target destroyed. This concludes all evaluations. We thank you for your cooperation. That's the highest ranking arena fight. Right? There's some bonus stuff afterwards, but that's the highest ranking arena fight. And we barely took a scratch. We didn't even get staggered. I didn't realize how powerful a missile platform could be. Interesting. So the absurd amount of missiles is kind of countered by a plasma scoot or a pulse scooter. As we saw in the fight against Aster Crown, he had a lot of staying power because of that scooter. But if an enemy doesn't have that, there's just too many missiles to dodge. It's too many. They can't dodge them all. And it racks up the stability damage for maximum effect. Combined with the fact, I think, that we have, because we have an FCS focused entirely on long range combat, which I believe, let me check the specifications on the FCS, because maybe we can make this better. Although I don't want to fiddle, because it's kind of perfect. It's got long range, like, what is the best missile, yeah, the best missile lock one. Let's actually see what that means. Let's make sure we understand everything about this. Modifier for the time it takes to acquire lock on for missiles and other homing weapons. So that's not accuracy per se, that's just lock time. And to be frank, we've got enough lock time. I think the... I think that is what's allowing it to hit so reliably at long range. Which kind of leans into what the mech is as a whole. So this thing is a mech and is an AC destroyer. How would it do in a normal mission? Because one of the biggest weaknesses I can see, or potentially predict, from this thing would be ammo capacity. I think ammo capacity is going to be its greatest weakness. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Nimbus has really impressed me so far, genuinely, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't even consider this. Let's put it to the test. Let's give this thing a fucking go. Let's give it a fucking go. Six, two, one. From here on out, I... Never mind. Just trust your instincts. I'm not going to bash my head against this too hard as a whole. I just want to see. I'm curious. Because... This, the boss at the end of this level, for those of you who don't know, was nerfed in a recent patch, okay? So it's not as ridiculous as it were, but was before. 
I fought it when it was ridiculous, and it was fucking absurd. It was awful. I struggled with this boss more than any other boss in the game, or any other encounter in the game. This was the hardest by far. I was up till like two in the morning beating it. It was ridiculous. But he's still not exactly a slouch. He is a lot easier, like, I have a lot easier time with him now, but he's not a slouch. And this is a full mission involving multiple, um, hostiles and stuff. So... There is, there is stuff to test out here, like, we need to see how this will do against normal targets, for instance. So I'm just decided to just go fucking mental at any target I can see, really, and just see what I can do that way. Like, that target up there is an AC, and it's kind of getting torn apart. It's worth pointing out. And I'm not even having to get close. You managed to duck behind cover. That's fine. That's cute, even. I was going to try and tackle him. It probably wasn't a good idea. But I've done significant amounts of damage... I think, to both ACs, and haven't really taken much damage yet myself. I'm taking a few hits because I got drawn into a close quarters uh, fight, and that was my mistake. Damn, 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 I wanted to go for the tackle, and it did not work. Damn. Oh, I really want- I really wanted the tackle. There we go, he's down. Bearing in mind, this is a fight that the first time I did it, I struggled with. This isn't the boss, by the way, this is just uh, an initial encounter, as it were, against two ACs. You know, nothing major. But I remember struggling with this prior, and this is kind of a fucking- She's dead, she's dead. They're both dead, it's fucking- And it's just a- Yep, they're dead. Okay, moving on. It's a fucking joke now. And I have used up quite a few of my miss- No, I've still got quite a few, to be honest. At least 20 shots in both guns. In all four guns, I should say. Doing just fine. Those things are absolute motherfuckers. You guys know about bone wheel skeletons in Dark Souls? Well, imagine if someone turned them into a mech, had them equip them with flamethrowers, and they shot missiles. That's what those are. We're about to make one's acquaintance. There he is. No risks. Just kill it. Yeah, fuck you. That's not how you're supposed to fight them, but, you know, you know, catharsis. I'm not going to fight a ton of them because I actually straight up don't want to. But they are weak to explosives, and this thing packs explosives in spades. And we could probably just sit up here and snipe them. I think that one just died. Or at the very least, staggered. This will not be fun to watch, so I'm not doing it, but... Oh god, oh god, no, okay, we might not have a choice. Okay, well, alright, um, okay, alright, well, okay, alright, well, um. That one's dead. Yeah, ouch. So, this thing doesn't have a lot of aerial capability. That is one of its weaknesses, for sure. It can't stay in the air. I'm gonna get staggered soon if I don't get out of it. I might blow up soon if I don't get out of it. Do you know what I realized? I forgot to give this thing terminal armor as well. Hey, this thing's pretty good on assault boost, though, so that's something. Let's get out of there. That's a bad time and not what I'm here to test it for. Down you go. Yes, you shan't survive. None of you shall. So ammo conservation is quite difficult with this thing because you're just firing missiles all day. But, uh, I mean, in many cases, it kind of doesn't matter that much. And you do get a lot of ammo in these things, it's worth pointing out. So... Yeah, it just kind of works, really. There's not much from left. Are you, I was going to say, are you supposed to be a tough guy? Because you're kind of a bitch. Now, you will spend an ungodly amount of money each mission on ammunition, but if you don't care and you just want to beat a mission, this might be the way to go. 
Wow, that was one salvo. And it's dead. Okay, right. Well, neat. Brilliant. Fantastic. Fucking... Ooh, okay, well. It's time for the big moment, isn't it, really? Let's see how this thing performs. We've established that it can handle standard level traversal whilst also dealing with multiple ACs and unconventional opponents. And I think that last guy we fought might have been a tetrapod. Or was at least some form of advanced, um, not AC hardware, as it were. So... It can do that. They're marveling at the sights and like the vascular plant and the coral glow and all that. And I'm marveling at the fucking Nimbus. This thing is ridiculous. The coral's rising. I'll let you guys watch this because it's pretty fucking cool, to be fair. But spoilers, obviously. If you don't want to know what the boss is, don't stop watching now. Raven, I knew Walter was... Something's coming. Unidentified machine overhead. A response. It's a sea weapon. It's also extremely frustrating to fight. And before the patch, oh my god. Let's go for him. Still, once again, not a pushover. We got all of our ammo back, so... We're in for a good run of it. Unfortunately, this thing dodges like no one's business. And it might be slightly resistant to our missile tactics. Okay, okay, okay. I'm faster than you, idiot. <laughs> this might require a bit of concentration. Oh boy. Ugh. It's definitely slower than it used to be, though. Yeah! Hit it with everything! Damn right I can't. Missiles for days! Ah, uh, that did clip me. Unfortunate. Go! Yeah! You love to see it! No mercy! More missiles! More! Ah, fuck. That's fine. I'm actually doing way better than I normally would be. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's fine, Walter! Don't worry! I realize I don't have expand uh, terminal armor, so I could have just died instantly there if I wasn't careful. That was pretty bad. I'm really fumbling it at the last minute here. Oh, thank god for that! It didn't get to fire! Oh! Oh! Yeah, fight's not over. <laughs> yeah, silent. Yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, about that, yeah. Round back. two, bitch. Oh no, and don't bother firing at it yet because it won't do any damage. Just wait. Is this what the Ibis series is truly it's a bit of a fucker, it must be said. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, that is a thing that it's doing. You're correct. Missiles, get her. Them. I, I, I get feminine vibes from this thing. I mean, just look at it. it it's pretty fucking cool. Oh. I'm not sure if I can, actually. This might be a bit much. And I'm not going to sit here and bash my head against it because it wouldn't be that interesting. And it's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to, is to make and test out the Nimbus, and we are doing that. And this version of it, this form, as it were, does seem a little more resistant to missiles. Like, it seems to dodge them a little easier. So that's something to take into consideration. Oh my god. Go! Yeah! More missiles. Oh, that's a lot of damage! I thought I dodged that, but... Oh, I forgot I came for another pass! And it got me. Alright, guys. 
I don't think you quite understand how insane that is, right? Bearing in mind that I'm not the best pilot ever, <clears throat> and I don't really know that guy's attacks very well, and I'm recording and trying to do commentary, and Nimbus not only beat the first round, which is surprising to me, I figured I'd flub the first round with it, but got halfway through the second round as well. And honestly, I think some of that comes down to luck, because sometimes the enemies don't just don't dodge missiles that well. Like, I think, I think it just got really lucky in dodging the missiles really well for the first half of that, or for the first of the second part of the fight, if you know what I mean. I'm all over the place, but Nimbus is insane. This thing is so powerful. It's really funny to me that the overly complicated mech game in which you have a million different weapons to choose from and like your loadout and your mech design and your fucking boosters and FCS and generators are so important in how your mech runs and this is all very important. The best build in the game is just missiles. Just a fuck ton of missiles. Just a shit ton of missiles. Now PvP? You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how well a player would manage against this many missiles, there are just so many, but then again, if they take like titties for example, right? Or my preferred playstyle, which is usually a lot of aggressive mechs. This thing is fast, but a skilled pilot could chase it down. And once it starts getting battered in melee, I don't think it would last long enough for its missiles to do the job for it, as it were. But I still think this would be difficult to fight in PvP. Genuinely, I think people would struggle against this thing. This is an easy mode mech. This is one of the e this is the easiest mech to play that I have built with the most results as a result of playing it. You know what I mean? You get the most for the least amount of effort with this thing. It's insanely powerful. I'm kind I'm genuinely shocked. First of all, I thought this thing would fight like shit. Then I also thought it would look terrible. Instead, I personally think it looks fantastic and it fights exceptionally well. We handled the top ranking mech pilot in the arena like he was nothing. We almost beat the only two stage boss in the game who was so difficult that they had to be patched. They had to be nerfed and yes this is the post nerf version of that boss but there's still not a pushover and on the first try this mech nearly won. And honestly, the reason we lost was because I missed, I failed to dodge some attacks that I really should have dodged. Like near the end of the first round, I got very sloppy. This thing is amazing. It's fucking insane. Now I'm sure there are more broken builds, but fuck man, this thing slaps. I hope Nata Frost is pleased with this because I think this thing is a fucking winner. And I know I've already saved it, but guess what? I'm going to save it again because I don't want to lose it. Because I might pull that thing out if I'm struggling with something and need a win. I might be like, all right, Cumula Nimbus, here we go. Deal with it for me. <laughs> it's actually that good. But that's so all we've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't think we would get the best, the most powerful mech I've ever made. Not necessarily my favorite, I will be honest. Like, I really like titties. It must be said, like, there's a lot going on with titties. But this is definitely up there in, in like my list of favorites and it is definitely the strongest. It's definitely the strongest. Like Tiddy's is really strong and can do devastating amounts of damage. But I'm not 100% convinced that Nimbus wouldn't just blow it up before it could get close. You know? I think a fight between this and the egg, the excitable grenade golem, would be an interesting encounter because they've both got their own strengths which le lends them to being powerful in their own way, but I think maybe the egg might be a bit too slow and it wouldn't be able to cope with all the missiles. You would n probably need to build to deal with this thing. You would need to build something specific. I don't know. But let me know what you think, and yeah, what do you think of the Nimbus? Holy damn. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Tum King, Majoko Maiman, Adash Sanjeev, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, MB Elias, Lord Skellington, Jesse Kissy, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sir World, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. What the fuck <laughs> is up with this mech? It's fucking sick. And, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, it's so fast, 
is also really durable. That boost kicks are a legit tactic that you can employ with this thing. If you can start to close the distance as your missiles are about to stagger the enemy, you can hit them with a boost kick to deal free damage at the cost of no ammo, like lost, and then immediately fire your missiles after you've done the boost kick, and then, like, it's a relatively heavy mech. Let's have a look at the stats real quick. Should say waves around here somewhere, surely. I think maybe toggle display will show us. So wait, 90,000, that's quite heavy. This thing hits relatively hard when it boost kicks as well, and it's fast for its weight. I have to say, from my personal, like, uh, you know, experience but subjective opinion, the, e the ELTL 11 Fortaleza legs are probably the best legs in the game. Maybe tied with the tetrapod legs because they can hover and rain down um, fire that way, and they might be better for certain circumstances, but by and large, the Fortalezas are the best legs in the game. They are ridiculous. They are durable and fast. They are literally everything you could want in a pair of legs for a mech. They're absurd. But this is all off, <coughs> off topic. Thank you so much for watching. If you have mech submissions, if you have questions, I didn't even talk about anything today other than the mech because it was so fucking crazy. But if you have questions or mechs to submit, submit them here or on the Discord. And whatever we build next time, Hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.